result. Vander Holyfield, Art Shell, no plans for that fight yet. Coin flip would be no joke a bit later in this game. First quarter, Vikings moving the football down seven zip at Randall Cunningham, but Randy Moss right on time. Moss kept his feet in, tied at seven. Moss, nine straight games with a touchdown. Falcons down 10 7. Chris Chandler, OJ Santiago share. And he did. Robert Griffith coming up with recovery. Vikings get the ball right back. Six plays later, third and goal for the one. And Randall, just like his big brother Sam, over the top. Randall's wife, Felicity, would have to restrain the cheers shortly thereafter. Near the end of the half, Randall and Chuck Smith kind of work a variation of the statue. Good swat by Smith. Falcons come up with the football. Next play for the Falcons, less than a minute left in the half. Chandler. Right on line to Terrence Mathis, 14 yards and in. Huge break for Atlanta after giving the ball up and getting behind. It looked like a blowout was on, but no longer was. Now end of the half, Randall on the run. Launches it for Randy Moss. This time he doesn't come up with the big play in the crowd. And in fact, didn't come up with much after that. Just one catch for four yards in the second half. There was complaint of some kind of possible stomach trouble, maybe some kind of muscle tear. Third quarter, Falcons down 20 to 14. Borrowing a play from Minnesota. Chandler at a receiver. Tim Dwight's running. Looks like Orlando Thomas tried to tear his head off for use at a circus freak show. No call, though. Thomas definitely had the fingers in the helmet. No penalty. 2017 after field goal. Now Cunningham. Matthew Hatchett, good throw on the post. Vikings are now up 10 again. 13-41 to go. John Randall thinks he's going to Miami. Falcons get the ball back. Third and nine. Chandler under pressure. Launches it. Tony Martin hesitated. Then he flew to beat Jimmy Hitchcock inside the 10. Chandler looking for Mathis. The ball was on time. The catch wasn't. And then Chandler threatens not to be his friend. Falcons get a field goal. 27-20. Vikings trying to run out the clock. Trouble on the exchange. And they lose the football. Falcons. Big opportunity in Vikings territory. Can't move the ball. Passing up the field goal. It's fourth and four. Chandler back for Mathis. Corey Fuller, a big play coming in. Knocks that mess away. Falcons have to turn it over on downs, and time is running out. Vikings try to finish it. Gary Anderson hadn't missed a kick since December of 97. Newbie. It's going left. Just missed. Got a big rush from screen right. Seemed to kind of hop and pull it left. Missed that thing. Falcons still in it. Buck 54 to go. Chandler steps up. Nice throw to Ronnie Harris. 29 yards. Four plays later, Chandler's kind of beat up at this point, limping around, but hanging in, playing well. Looking for Mathis in the end zone. It's tipped. Vikings had a chance. Robert Griffith couldn't hang on. 57 seconds later. 57 seconds left, rather. Chandler flushed out. Zips that pass. And they make tough kids in Everett, Washington. Chandler fighting off the rush, zipping that pass to Mathis. Mathis does a great job to stay in the end zone. And the Vikings, one more chance. 37 seconds left, a tie game. Cunningham gets pressure and launches for Moss. Moss started going to the corner at first, cuts back to try to get the ball and can't. And then the Vikings decide to take their chances on a coin flip, head to overtime, kneel on the ball. An exchange of punts now in the overtime. 8.46 in overtime, third and 10, and Cunningham looking for Moss. We haven't mentioned Eugene Robinson yet. The free safety over and making the game-saving play, and the Vikings are forced to punt the football. Falcons deep in their own end. They're back at the sixth, and Chandler moves it up the field. Santiago for 26, four plays later. Anderson, I cuts on dimes, got nine yards. Two plays later, all the way to the Vikings, 21. And Dan Rees calls on the other Anderson, Morton Anderson from 38. The hold, the kick, it's on the way, it's up, and it's it good. good! The Falcons are going to the yes. Super Bowl! The Falcons are going to the yes. Super Bowl! The hey. Falcons have done it! They have done the unthinkable, they have won inside the Metro Dome, and the celebration is underway on the field! So for the first time ever, a Dome team is in the Super Bowl. Atlanta held Minnesota to seven points in the second half. It's after the Vikings had opened the game with scores on four straight possessions. Jamal Anderson had just 67 yards running, but he did catch six balls for 33 more yards. 
and his presence in the backfield held by Chandler some time on the play fakes. Chandler ended up hitting 27 to 43, no picks, and he fought through the injury, and his Falcons are in their first Super Bowl. If I can stand today, my heart's got to be in great shape. Could I, it, can't, it can't be much tougher than that. Maybe, maybe the only thing that's going to be tougher than that is dancing downtown Atlanta, the Dirty Bird, because that ain't going to be a pretty sight. Everybody was saying, well, it's just the Falcons. That's fine. We want you to disrespect us. We want you to make us the underdogs because it's just the Falcons that are up the podium smiling at the end of the game. No, you know, that's, I mean, that's part of field goal uh, kicking. You know, it's, uh, uh, it's it's the way kicking goes, you know. Some, you know, you, you line up just like I approach every kick and, and fire it. And um, unfortunately, that one didn't go through. It just goes to show that no one's perfect. And um, Gary is the greatest kicker in the NFL. You can't take that away from him. But the timing uh, and what had happened just didn't go in our favor. But uh, you can't, we can't put any blame on Gary. To hold that team, as potent as that team is, as, as well as they move the ball, to hold them in that like this, that, what, seven points with the last 40 minutes? That's astounding. No one thought we'd even be here. In, in, the Falcons playing for the NFC Championship? No one thought it. None of the Falcons going to the Super Bowl. And we're going to win the thing, too. And going back to the missed kick by Anderson, not the only botch up by Minnesota, but certainly the